Hi, I am Brooklyn. This is Be Raw, Let's Talk Raw, Authenticity, Raw, Raw, Raw. I want to talk to you about two really important things in my life that are um, pretty raw, pretty, pretty healthy. I mean, all the way healthy, actually. Um, so instead of coffee, I do a chai tea latte. Here's what's exciting. I love chai tea lattes from Starbucks. You can ask my husband. Um, uh, he was like, um, no more, I'm, come, I'm going back to Atlanta on um, December 1st. And he was like, even here in, in um, Atlanta, you with a joint account. He's like, babe, like 40 bucks, like, you know, whatever. And then um, Morel, who is so sweet, you know, grab me one sometimes. I was kind of like, how much does that cost you? Like three a week. He's like, this is like 20, 25 bucks. I mean, it's just crazy because it's being venti. I'm like, you don't have to do that. He's like, but he's drinking it in like five seconds. So I'm going to show you what I learned the short time I was a barista. Uh, I worked at this little cafe called Three, uh, three Sisters Cafe, Five Sisters Cafe, excuse me. I, I have three sisters. Um, okay, so sorry. There are three girls, so there's three sisters in my family. So I use vegan butter. And vegan butter um, actually comes in parchment paper, but I switched it with a carton of a friend of, of the, my roommates. I don't eat real butter, but if you do, that's fine. I just don't eat dairy, but I put it in here because I set the parchment paper on fire once, and another time it just got gooey and weird. So I, uh, right when I get it, I transfer it into here, which of course I cleaned and made it whatever. I transfer it to here to make it easier. Um, for some reason, vegan butter ha just comes in some sort of parchment. It's all, the raw living is recyclable and whatnot. And so, I guess it's where I'm not being raw, but I'm saving by doing this. I'm saving, I'm saving, right? Right? I don't know, maybe I just screwed everything up. Anyway, so here's what I do. So we're gonna do this one first. So, I put the six bags in here, uh, and then I put two, um, filtered bottles of water just like coffee. I put five Splendas that my lovely friends, whoopsie, my lovely friends will jack for me when they go to Starbucks because some of them can still afford it. Um, um, all of them pretty much. Um, and I'm like, hey, when you go, um, if you're gonna, you know, come by, and usually they're supposed to bring me something to drink, but sometimes they just come by and they like empty their pockets and this is what happened today. <laughs> I prefer to be up. Whoopsie. Oops, oh God, it's raining sugar. It's raining. Um, I'll get that later. I also use agave, which is um, natural sugar as well. Now, this comes from the stevia leaf. I prefer Truvia. I'm broke right now. I'll take whatever they have, okay? So um, I'm going to clean this later. My OCD is getting in the way. Please forgive me. So, wow. Okay, so then what I do is right when I right before I turn on the button in the morning, you know, it's early and you're like, oh, I just want my caffeine. Black tea has tons of caffeine and it's dark color, so it's kind of, it has a coffee feel to it. Um, so what I do is I put almond milk in it or cashew milk or whatever kind of not non-dairy. If you, if you want to do a non-dairy lactose free milk, fine. I prefer almond milk or coconut milk. Um, coconut milk gives a really fun, thicker kind of taste. Um, I do unsweetened uh, vanilla almond milk, uh, me personally. Um, I've not been one to totally like cashew milk, but whatever your choice may be. I put um, about this much, so that would be about four cups of milk, and then it would be about six cups of the, the two bottles of, of filtered water, just a regular water bottle of filtered water. And so then it makes a full um, thing. I let the tea bags uh, sit in there with it, obviously, to um, whatever the word is, I don't know. Um, just sort of whatever, you know what I'm talking about. It, it, um, I, I can't think of the word right now. Then, when it's still hot, I stick it in my Nutribullet with a, like a, I mean, like, I don't want to waste butter, but, or anything, but it's probably about this much. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, a tablespoon, or um, you can get the froth with the teaspoon if you like. I do like a tablespoon. I want some serious froth. So I do that. And then I put the cover on it just like I would my green drink or my smoothie or whatever. 
And then I take it to the, can you guys see my nature bullet? Um, okay, so watch. I've already put the butter in, by the way. I had a couple bloopers before. Boom, look at that frost. It tastes just like from Starbucks. It's still hot. Um, if you work from home like I do as a writer or a YouTuber, or um, lately I've been sick from my diagnoses, but I still have been trying to work um, setting lines or writing. Um, you can write for different magazines, whatever. You work from home, it's really cool. You can just leave it in the pot. Um, and leave the pot on, but just sort of shake it up sometimes. Take the tea bags out. Uh, within 10 minutes of the brew, or else it gets really um, uh, bitter, sort of. So there's that funness. Now, this is my green drink I make, and I drink it throughout the day. If it's a really good day, I have two a day, but I gotta be careful, I don't wanna be on the toilet for like two days. So, what I put in here is two bottles of filtered water, celery, Cilantro. Now, celery is, is, is water-based. It's hydrating. Cilantro helps clear the blood. I have a triple amount of blood, um, white, I'm sorry, red blood cells that I should have. So I'm detoxing my blood cells and I'm detoxing my liver. As, as I've mentioned in the video before, my hepatitis C, even though I'm, I'm going to start the cure soon, my hepatitis C, um, you see my extensions, I'm having a little fun today. Um, I'm having, I just want to make sure I'm detoxing a lot. So cilantro is great for detox the blood and detoxing your liver um, celery is just hydrating it's great for the skin it's just a great filler <laughs> also um, I put kale and spinach both are detoxes for your intestines where we are worried there is a mass at the moment so again we're doing some more testing but um, uh, it seems to be there's a mass in that area so um, I'm doing as much detoxing as possible to clear myself out so I don't have to drink one of those drinks and have them do it which I'll probably have to do anyway which I was told by the doctor but I'm doing everything I can not to so I am upping these guys. I ran out, I, I don't have cucumber, but I, I w wish I did because cucumber gives such a fresh taste. I do two to three lemons. Um, I can't afford trivia right now, so I do three of the Splendas. Um, I have a photo shoot in a very, very, very skinny weeny teeny bikini on um, an Adam Sachs uh, a cut on Friday, so I'm using no sugar, otherwise I would use the Agave Natural, which is fine, your body can process it, but if it's in the same week, um, uh, it, it, you know, and you, you want to just get that three pounds to make sure, you, I, you know, um, I have had a bunch of kids, I've had a handful of kids, so um, I, I just, I don't know, it makes me feel better, even though it's, 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 your body really can't process it. I never really noticed gaining weight on agave, but um, I just feel better about that. Um, let me make sure I told you everything else. I wish you could see the splint on my floor from my bloopers where I dropped it, or maybe it was this video. Um, so I told you two filtered waters, a little bit of almond milk if I feel like it, but uh, usually right now for my severe detox, I'm just doing water. Celery, oh, uh, Yakima. Okay, that's spelled J-I-C-A-M-A. -A. So I have yucca sticks. I stuck two in there. Those are great for detox in general. They're just crunchy and yummy and they just give a really yummy taste. Um, oh, I do about a quarter of avocado, which is a good fat, uh, which sort of thickens it up and just makes it yum yum. Um, I told you kale, spinach, uh, two to three lemons, depending. Um, no bananas. I can't do bananas right now. That can stop you up. But I will give you a tip about bananas um, for people with depression, which I struggle with. Um, a banana a day can help keep the depression away, especially if you eat it in the morning. Also, a great snack at night is a frozen banana. I'm not allowed to eat bananas right now, doctor's orders. Um, I am to eat things that completely um, just... Yeah, I was doing everything right, and it was like that banana I was eating is what, you know? And I mean, well, no, I'm sorry, I wasn't because of it. Um, I have switched completely to vegan cheese, not even my once a week 
um, splurge of Sargento. Um, God, I love Sargento. Um, I have had to stop with my dark chocolate. This is my favorite snack. It is power berries. It's the real fruit with the pomegranate, cranberry, acai, blueberry, and dipped dark chocolate. I've had to stop that because I have to clear my system completely. So I am eating tons of celery. Um, oh, no, peanut butter. Oh, I love peanut butter. Um, uh, I have been eating oatmeal. But it's had to be with the vegan butter and um, a little bit, a little bit of salt. I know I'm weird, and a little bit of agave. Um, and what else did I put in it? Um, oh, mango. A fruit is good. Oh, mango. So I put mango in here, and then I take that guy and I pop it. Oh, and ice, of course, ice. And I pop it. Now, I've already had two servings today because it's like halfway through the day. <laughs> So every time I'm about to have another serving, I pop it back on that sucker to kind of frizz it back up and kind of freshen it. Sometimes I'll add ice. So for instance, I'm going to be going to a meeting here in a minute with some friends. Um, so I'll put some in here and take it with me. Um, and again, that's just a way to save money instead of going to um, Quench or Green Bar or place of that nature, which I love, by the way. When I had money, that was like my first stop after I worked out, but I no longer can do that. So I make it at home. So follow these videos. And I mean, I just have so many tips. When you go from having money to not having money, you just like, you figure it out, man. You figure it out. So um, hang out with me. Um, I would love it. Oh, last but not least, in every recipe, I'm sorry, I just got a nose ring recently. I, I, I've always had one, but I, I didn't have one about four, so okay. I haven't always had one. I usually have one, but for about four years, I didn't have one. And I just got it a couple days ago, it's itchy. Okay, so um, always putting cayenne pepper. So I add cayenne pepper all the time. And with each, so I'll have my serving, then my next serving, I add a little more. So if I'm going to add anything else to this with each serving, I try to do two of these a day. Um, I usually do one, one and a half, but it'd be great to do two. Um, with each time I pop it back on the thing, at the um, spinner, a miniature bullet, after a serving, I add a little more cayenne pepper, add a little more lemon and ice. Those are things I add. And if it needs a little more green, why not throw some more spinach or kale? Why not? But these things are not going to make me stay in that room behind me forever. They're going to up my... Um, metabolism and the lemon is going to help push everything through without like pushing it through. Uh, another good trick is um, my ginger shots. I have video of those. I have told you about I still do those. Another thing that's fun, well it's not really fun but it's something that's great. Why don't why don't you, sorry I feel like I'm talking to my kids. I will also in one of my, I have so many different sizes, one of my Nutribullets, um, here's my other one. So in this one, I will do ice, filtered water, uh, three lemons, like juice them up, five trivias, or my agave, or my agave maple syrup, tons of cayenne pepper, and I will frizz that up. I call it frizz. I'll, f I'll, I'll foam it up, frizz it up. And so um, recap, because I talk fast. So... Great way to save money if you like chai tea lattes or any kind of latte, even if it's coffee. If you have a Nutribullet or a blender or a magic bullet or whatever, a ninja, it doesn't matter. Add to your coffee, your creamer, your milk, whatever, and then add some butter, preferably vegan butter, preferably almond milk creamer. They have all that and pop it on your Nutribullet and boom, you got foam. I, tend, I, I choose to use uh, black chai tea. I use six of them with five trivias, uh, two filtered waters. I um, brew it like coffee, but uh, in the mornings I stick two cups of almond milk so it stays warm. Then I pour it in here, then I frizz it up, and then and my Nutribullet and with, with some vegan butter, boom. You can do it with coffee as well and make a latte. My other thing was my detox raw drink. 
Now this has, you know, it, it changes uh, daily, but, but actually no, it hasn't lately. I, I really have to keep my ingredients simple because price effective. So the things that are really, really important to have that are the best detoxes are celery, cayenne pepper, lemon, 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 filtered water, no other option. It has to be filtered water. That is huge, okay? Lemon is huge as well. Um, Truvia, agave, something like that if you don't want it to be too vegetable believe. Um, a great fruit would be kiwi, mango, um, watermelon, um, uh, uh, berries, um, detoxifying fruits, uh, pomegranate. I wouldn't recommend banana. I was just told by doctors because of a mask that we found uh, to just clear myself out so I don't have to drink that nasty drink that I'm afraid I'm going to do anyway. Um, no bananas, no peanut butter, nothing that could just, just glob you up, so to speak. Um, if you already have a sensitivity with in, in twisted intestines, which I do. Um, so this is my detox drink. Celery is really great. It's hydrating, great for your skin. In. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. It's a great filler. It's a great snack. It, it just feels good. It's crunchy. It's awesome. Um, um, let's see. Uh, I might have forgot a thing. Do you stick it on that sucker? Because I'm detoxing, I'm not using my um, protein, uh, my vegan protein, which is pea protein and alfalfa sprouts and kale and all that. I was advised by a doctor not to do that, um, just to keep it as natural as possible. So I'm going to take that to the grave with me. I just think that's the best thing to do. Um, if you ever face with health problems, uh, don't just come to my channel, Let's Talk Raw. Get raw, stay raw, and you know what? Be raw. Thanks for joining us. Let's Talk Raw. <laughs> I'm with an eye. Thanks, bye.